So there's a lot of guys out there who are pretty angry, to be honest. I call it red pill rage. And uh, it's understandable. It's understandable. You look at a very extreme scenario, like, say, a man who's recently been divorced. We know the suicide rate for a man who's recently been divorced is 10 times higher than the average suicide rate in society at large. And, and there's a reason for that. It's because men who go through this red pill rage, they're devastated. They're devastated. It's, it's tragic. They're sad. They're depressed. And also angry. So for guys who, quote, take the red pill, um, there's going to be something called the red pill rage. Uh, maybe not everyone but a decent amount, and because of this anger, uh, a lot of people make the accusation against people like MGTOW guys, well, you're just, you're just angry, man, you're just angry. Now, obviously, the assumption or the implication here is that anger as an emotion, no matter what, is a, a bad thing, and I'm going to disagree with that. I think that anger has uh, an appropriate context, and when you feel anger, you should, you should, you know, ask yourself, why is it there? You should kind of channel it. You should put it in its proper place. You know, for example, if somebody just came along and uh, stabbed my brother, well, I'll be fucking angry. And that anger, the right thing for me to do there, would be at least to use some kind of force against him. Maybe even kill the guy. And in retaliation, you know, that could be uh, justice. And the anger is there. Um, not intrinsically bad. But we just need to be intelligent in the way we use it. Anger and rationality together. Now, the anger that a man feels when he gets divorced. The reason why that's there is because his whole life he was conditioned, he was programmed, he was taught and instructed. Uh, things are this way. And <laughs> when he based his life around that, uh, it didn't work out and things went to the shitter and he got taken to the cleaners things aren't what what you thought they were you're gonna be fucking angry aren't you so uh, i'll just i'll just give an example uh based on deception catholic church right catholic church been around for a very long time we know they've done some dodgy stuff but people didn't really know we didn't know about the whole kitty fiddling priest stuff did we and uh, so many people had a lot of faith in, you know, their their priests and their bishops and the Pope and the, the whole uh, deal. And it just it just came out, didn't it? There's a, a growing awareness of this problem that, you know, for example, 50% of priests aren't celibate and a decent minority of them, uh, <laughs> they like to fiddle with kids. And the, the reaction a lot of people had, Catholic devoted faithful people had to that is, they're just devastated, aren't they? And you know what? They feel angry. They feel very angry. And wouldn't you say that was justified? Suppose there was some reactionary protest branch of Catholicism, maybe in a local community. Uh, they're upset. They're angry. They're saying, you know, uh, you guys are uh, kitty fiddling. And do you think that an appropriate rebuttal that would be, well, you're just angry? Of course they're fucking angry. That's not an argument. So let's look at it, uh, some specific examples. What do guys have to be angry about? Uh, there's the narrative that we should be nice and respectful towards women. Well, one of the outcomes of this is that you simply won't do very well with women. Or you will get a woman who's looking for a beta box provider. Uh, you'll treat her nicely, you invest your life in, with her. And then uh, she'll say she's bored and cheat on you. Uh, fuck a chad. So that's, that's a lie. Uh, Women are more romantic than men. That's also a lie. The studies show that men are, are far more romantic than women. Uh, women say, I want commitment. And they take their marriage vows, you know, for better or worse and all that. Uh, yet women initiate 70 to 90% of all divorces. Um, women are not violent. We are all men, these, these chauvinist, violent pigs, you know. And then you get stabbed by a wife because they're more likely to use weapons in domestic violence. And uh, due to the inherent bias in the legal judicial system, you're fucked. Uh, women are attracted to men's personality, not they're attracted to utility. Um, women want an equal partner. They want to, No, they don't. They want to increase their lifestyle by marrying up. Hey, maybe... Maybe you got fucked by your teacher in high school, right? 
well, apparently that's good for you because you're a guy who must have enjoyed it. And uh, enjoy paying life support for, the, sorry, child support for the next 18 years um, to the woman who raped you. So this anger can be good because anger is a response to something in your life that's gone wrong. And you can use that anger as a way to do something right, to move yourself in the right direction. And in the case of, say, Red Pill Rage, it would be stimulating you to learn about human nature. The The anger would be coming from a deception regarding human nature, specifically female nature. And you can use that to investigate female nature for yourself and also male nature because they're two parts of human nature and hopefully in doing that you would be able to have a better life uh, live a little bit of life so yeah this accusation of uh you mad bruh is it's a bit like the selfishness accusation it is true you know what makes how are angry but just like with selfishness you know it's not necessarily a bad thing and it's not like mctow men in their anger face process are going out raping pillaging violating murdering assaulting and so on they're more of a an intellectual approach generally um because as they say knowledge is power now my view on anger in general and i guess emotions in general is kind of like with drugs you know i think that pharmaceutical and pharmacological psychoactive substance can be beneficial to us we can have better living through chemistry and there are things that you know psychedelic drugs for example can teach us uh but once you've got them you know uh, you've learned what, what they can offer uh, you don't really need to pursue them anymore um you know if you do you could run into some trouble in your life uh, they wouldn't be serving you, you know, in the same way the emotion of anger uh if you held on to that it lingered and instead of you using that emotion to to improve your life you let that emotion use you you hang on to it you're not using it as a, a stepping stone to something better and it just consumes you then hey i think that's a bad thing but to be honest a conversation on the internet a statement or two how are we really going to know that about someone else most of the time these accusations are just thrown out there Willy nearly in an attempt to shame someone, not really an attempt to support someone through uh, some emotions they might be feeling, allowing it to guide them to a better place. So in summary, yeah, a lot of uh, guys are angry. They find out some of the lies or ways in which they've been deceived, and especially if it happens very suddenly, uh, become more aware. Could be very, very angry. The trick is to to move on from that, to to go through the process, through the process, and not have it consume you. Um, if it's knowledge and programming conditioning that screwed you over, and that's the reason why you're angry, then you should reprogram yourself, recondition yourself, and and find out a bit of information, a bit of data about human nature, your own male nature. And also female nature uh, so that you can live uh, a better life